Hello everyone and welcome back to Iraqi Dinar News. I hope you're all doing well today. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and we appreciate all the support you've been showing. We've got some groundbreaking updates for you today, especially focusing on three major financial players, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan, regarding the potential Iraqi dinar revaluation. Stay tuned until the end, because you don't want to miss these developments. Chase, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan's role in Iraqi dinar revaluation. Today's hot topic centers around recent announcements from major U.S. banks, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan, regarding their involvement in the Iraqi dinar revaluation, RV. As you know, the possibility of an Iraqi dinar RV has been a topic of immense interest among investors and economists. Recently, these banks have provided new signals that the long-anticipated revaluation might be closer than we think. For those of you who might be new to the channel or just catching up, let's do a quick overview. The Iraqi dinar, once one of the strongest currencies in the world, lost its value after years of political instability and economic challenges. Many believe that a revaluation, or RV, could bring the currency back to its former glory, and this could have a significant impact on Iraq's economy and those holding dinars around the world. Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan are now making headlines with their announcements about being ready to handle the Iraqi dinar once the RV occurs. This is huge news because these are some of the biggest financial institutions in the world, and their involvement provides added credibility to the potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Chase Bank's position on the dinar revaluation. Let's dive into what Chase Bank had to say. Chase recently announced that they are positioning themselves to support potential exchanges involving the Iraqi dinar. While no official revaluation has been confirmed yet, insiders suggest that Chase is preparing its financial systems for the possibility of large-scale currency conversions involving the Iraqi dinar. This includes upgrading exchange platforms, hiring additional currency specialists, and engaging with international financial regulators. According to sources within the bank, Chase Bank views Iraq's economic recovery and potential dinar RV as key to expanding their global currency services. While some remain skeptical, others see this as a critical step toward the dinar's eventual rise in value. Could Chase Bank's actions be a precursor to the RV announcement many have been waiting for? Only time will tell, but this is definitely a positive signal. Wells Fargo's announcement. Ready for the exchange. Next up, Wells Fargo has been making waves with its own preparations for a potential Iraqi dinar RV. Like Chase, Wells Fargo has also started making internal adjustments, training staff, and preparing for what some are calling the biggest currency event of the decade. Wells Fargo, known for its extensive currency exchange services, has long been rumored to have a vested interest in the Iraqi dinar. Recently, one of their top-level executives hinted that the bank has been closely monitoring Iraq's financial reforms and that they are ready to act swiftly should a revaluation occur. Wells Fargo has always been ahead in the currency exchange market, and their recent moves suggest that they are taking the Iraqi dinar RV seriously. It's important to note that, like Chase, Wells Fargo is one of the few financial institutions with the ability to handle such a large-scale operation. Many investors believe Wells Fargo's readiness could signal that we're closer to an official revaluation date than previously thought. Of course, this is still speculation, but it's hard to ignore the fact that two of the largest banks in the U.S. are preparing for something significant. J.P. Morgan's global reach. Leading the charge? Finally, let's turn our attention to J.P. Morgan, one of the world's largest and most influential banks. J.P. Morgan's involvement in the Iraqi dinar revaluation is perhaps the most notable of all because of the bank's global reach and connections with international monetary bodies. J.P. Morgan has been actively working in Iraq for several years, assisting in rebuilding the country's financial infrastructure. Insiders at J.P. Morgan have shared that the bank is working closely with the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, to ensure that any revaluation is carried out smoothly and efficiently. J.P. Morgan is uniquely positioned to handle this due to their expertise in global currency markets and their deep relationships with international regulators. According to the latest reports, J.P. Morgan has also been in discussions with other global banks to create a framework for exchanging the Iraqi dinar internationally. 
This could make it easier for those holding dinars in countries like Canada, the UK, Australia, and beyond to exchange their currency once the RV is officially announced. The fact that JP Morgan is working on these initiatives adds even more credibility to the idea that the dinar RV is not just a dream, but a potential reality that could happen soon. Whether or not JP Morgan's involvement will speed up the process is unknown, but their role in global finance cannot be understated. How soon could the RV happen? Now that we've covered the latest from Chase, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan, let's address the big question. How soon could the Iraqi dinar RV happen? While no one knows the exact date or time, the preparations being made by these banks indicate that we could be closer than ever. There's been speculation for years, but the moves being made behind the scenes suggest that something big is on the horizon. Prime Minister al-Sadani has also hinted at reforms that could pave the way for the RV, and the Central Bank of Iraq continues to strengthen its reserves and make the necessary adjustments. Many believe that the RV will be announced when Iraq is fully ready for global financial integration. And as we've seen with these bank announcements, that time might be approaching faster than we think. What should you do to prepare? For those of you holding Iraqi dinar or considering getting involved, now is the time to pay close attention to these developments. Keep an eye on official announcements from the Central Bank of Iraq. And of course, stay tuned to updates from major financial institutions like Chase, Wells Fargo, and J.P. Morgan. It's also a good idea to stay informed through trusted sources. And as always, we'll be here to bring you the latest updates as soon as they happen. Make sure to consult with a financial advisor if you're planning on making any significant investments or exchanges. Final thoughts. We are living in unprecedented times, and the potential Iraqi dinar revaluation could be one of the most significant financial events of this generation. With Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, and J.P. Morgan making preparations, the possibility of an RV is more real than ever before. As always, stay curious and stay informed. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's keep looking forward to what the future holds, and until next time. Take care.